Hello guys, welcome back to another video, Jemo here, bringing you the next episode of my Team 15 career mode with Chelsea. And today we have a potential four matches um, against Arsenal, Manchester United, Liverpool and Crystal Palace. Um, the only reason for that is because I want to play the Manchester United, uh, play Manchester United in the FA Cup final live. So, first up we have Arsenal, let's just jump straight into it. Right then guys, for this first match against Arsenal at Stamford Bridge, I think it is Chelsea or Oh okay, Arsenal line up with Chesney in goal, Dubucci, Koscielny, Motoseka and Monreal at the back, Wilshire and Flamini in the centre of midfield, Sanchez, Casola and Ozil providing support for Edin Dzeko, who is their lone striker. Chelsea line up with Courtois in goal, Ivanovic, Cahill, Zuma and Felipe Luis at the back, Fabregas and McKell in midfield, um, Salah, Hazard, Oscar and Diego Costa are the front four. The front line hasn't really changed very much throughout the season I must say, um, but in the ninth minute then, Wilshire gets a good uh, run on with the ball, gets a shot away and being very close to uh, scoring for Arsenal, giving them the lead. Uh, not too sure who that was that had that shot, but the, the, the deflection made it. Salah gets the shot away, a poor shot nonetheless. And then Oscar, I think it was, was there to uh, try and chip over Chesney, but it didn't quite work out. Fabregas into John Levy McHale, gets a shot away, and that was very close to going in. If it had dipped lower, that would have been in. Into the second half of the game, then Arsenal try and get a goal. Uh, but we managed to clear it away just about, but then uh, Wilshire fires the ball over the top and doesn't make much of a chance. Mikel loses the ball. Alexis Sanchez, Dzeko, good hold-up play. Erz bringing Erz into the game. Good footwork, lovely bit of footwork. Keeps hold of it really well, plays it into Alexis Sanchez, gets a shot away with Courtois, palms it away, and uh, we managed to clear it with ease. Ramirez gets the ball quite easily and uh, Diego Costa is in to score what I would see has been an absolute scrappy goal. It could have been better, but Chesney in that position at the 82nd minute should have done better. And uh, unfortunately, uh, it's Arsenal who go 1-0 down with 8 minutes plus added time left to be played. Well taken from Diego Costa. As I said, Chesney should have done loads better. Chelsea won Arsenal nil after 82 minutes. And at two minutes later, Arsenal coming on the attack. A lovely headed four across. And um, whoever scored it, I, can't, I don't even know who scored I think it was Anti Cazorla. Or no, it was Alexis Sanchez who scored that wonderful goal. De Gucci with a fantastic ball over the top. Look at that. Or oh, it was a beautiful ball. All he had to do was get his head onto it. Courtois came for it and couldn't quite grab hold of it as we edge closer but it's a point that we picked up should have been two it was two points dropped rather than one point gamed uh next uh game is crystal palace but we do have some post match uh, uh yeah some post match comments well guys a game we should have won there against arsenal but we do have two emails regarding uh scout reports first one here from frank m frank's view the scouting report Straight away, uh, Barry Chadwick isn't good enough for starters, definitely not. Whoa, hey, 90, 68 to 92 potential. He's not eligible yet, I don't think, but I'm not too sure. I don't, I don't. 86, 50 to 70, that is definitely no good. Um, Right, they've both gone. So 64 to 80. I'm not too fun, not too good. Up like Ryan Bulmer. Uh, 65 to 89. He's potentially very good. Um, 67 to 91. I'm tempted. He is. A, he's potentially a right-sided player um, in the field, so he could become a good youngster. To sign up. Um, um, right. I don't think that's very, that one's going, definitely. Um, I'm going to scout him a bit further, scout him a bit further. 
I'm gonna scale all of those a little bit further, just because, just so I can sort of. I know, I know it's different. Right, let's view this one. Ronnie Dixon. I'm signing them. Oh, no, he's a defensive. He's a thing. Hold on. Well, hold on. 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 Cancel. What? What was the email? Bob, well, those are the list of players that we have further information on as we spend more time with the lads. Okay, so easy. He, oh, he's in the youth academy. Right, okay, that's fine. So we're scouting those, those other players a bit further. That's fine. Right, next up, we have Crystal Palace. Let's just jump straight into it. Right then, guys, for this, for this next match against Crystal Palace, um, away, I think, or at home, I'm not too sure. It was, it's, he's at home. We line up the court to our goal, Ivanovic, uh, Terry, Zuma, and Aspen Equator at the back. Capagas, Mikel, William, Hazard, Oscar, and Diego Costa make up the front five. William coming in for uh, Mohamed Salah, um, who wants to give William a run out, really. But uh, Crystal Palace line up with Price in goal, Mariapa, McCarthy, Dan, and Binham Williams at the back. Yedinak, Bannon, Ledley, McCarthy, and Zaha make up the midfield with Fraser Campbell. As the lone striker in a 4-5-1 formation. Five minutes in then. Ivanovic over to William. Gets into his strike. Gets to the pace. Gets the shot away. But Price is there making a simple save for Crystal Palace to clear it away. Diego Costa this time. A few minutes later I think. Um, gets another shot away. But Price makes the save even easier this time with a simple catch. And 38 minutes in. William again. Another shot. Another simple catch for uh, for Price. He's having a good game, game so far. Aspinacueta into Hazard gets through the defence with ease, gets a shot away. Price is there once again, making yet another save. At this point, at the halfway stage, he was man of the match by far. Diego Costa in 57th minute. Another finesse shot, another simple save from Price to allow Crystal Post to clear it. He was there, man of the match by far. Diego Costa, this time around, Price had absolutely no chance of getting to that because it was right on the edge of the goal. And uh, what a goal it was from Diego Costa. If it was any further over, it would have hit the post. But it just, he bent it slightly. Uh, he turns the defender really easily, gets a shot away. And that starts just outside the post. And then he bet, most of ben manages to bend it back into the top left hand corner. Here he is again, using all the strength that he has in holding up the ball. Gets his shot away. Price is there once again after 72 minutes to clear it away. Uh, we get the corner and Crystal Palace clear it away with these. Asper de Quetta gets his shot. Yedinak is there clearing it. Zuma, Asper de Quetta, Fabregas, sees Hazard in space. Uses, turns the defender, finesse shot. Top right hand corner, boom, 2-0. What another goal that was. What a fantastic goal. After 75 minutes, um, two got two goals, two fantastic goals from two fantastic players to uh, feel the win and all three points. Fabregas with the vision and the pass, and then Hazard with the finesse and the quality to give Chelsea a 2-0 lead. 80th minute then, Fabregas gets tackled, Crystal has a fantastic chance after Terry doesn't clear it, Dan with the shot, Courtois makes the save and allows Kurt Zuma. To clear it away. Eden has on the ball now. Crosses it in. Thank you very much, Alan. Crystal Palace managed to clear it. And Oscar gets fouled. And Chelsea now have a penalty. And a chance to strengthen their lead. Right at the death of the match. With only two minutes plus added time left to be played. Eden Hazard. Can he step up to score Chelsea's third goal of the match? No he can't. Because Price makes the save. And Chelsea have a corner. And... Uh, it, it, Price for me is Crystal Palace's man of the match from this. Really, but in the 90th minute, um, that is pretty much at the game ended. Next up, Manchester United at home. So, here we go. Another massive game as we edge closer to the end of the season then. Uh, at, after that Crystal Palace match, Chelsea still sit in second, four points behind Tottenham, who um, are still top. But we do have a game in hand. Manchester United who sit in fourth on 60 points. Uh, the Chelsea lineup is this. Uh, this time, I bought Petr Cech and Seamus Coleman into the team. John Terry, Kurt Zuma, Aspen Aquetta, Fabregas, William, 
uh, Mikel Hazard, Oscar and Diego Costa all keep their places in the team um, after a brilliant performance uh, last time out against Crystal Palace. Manchester United have the Garden goal. Rafael, Rojo, small and short at the back. Blint, Herrera, Moutinho and Mata in midfield with Rooney and Falcao partnered up front together as their strikers. Ten minutes in then, Moutinho gets a good decent shot away but Czech makes a simple save. Doesn't have to do much and we manage to clear it away with ease. Falcao let's try running forward after 26 minutes. A tame shot which brings a simple save to Pella Czech. William, doesn't, it, it's the end of the highlight, I didn't realise. Uh, Blint on to Jal Moutinho. Good ball in and... We managed to clear it away. Rooney heads it back to Falcao. He makes a fantastic save after 34, 35 minutes. 38 minutes. Diego Costa gets the shot away, but good save. Could have, should have scored and didn't, but it should have been better into the second half now. Rooney. Check there, making yet another save. Rooney there. Should have done a lot better. Probably could have cut inside, and, but Rooney uh, had a corner. It's obviously made nothing of it. 53 minutes in. Diego Costa. A brilliant, brilliant chance. To take Chelsea in front and doesn't do the business. Eden Hazard this time on the left hand side, cutting inside, doing it what he does best. Gets this shot away. Lindergaard parries it straight into the path of Oscar, who has the simple task of a tapping after 64 minutes and uh, left Lindergaard standing. The hair, by the way, was sold in the summer or in January um, to, I don't know, I think he went to La Liga. Um, but what Chelsea are now 1-0 up. Last minute of the game then, Willian. Um, well, yeah, it's the last minute of the game, really. And that is pretty much how the game ended. Chelsea beating Manchester United by one goal to nil. As we head closer now to the top of the Premier League. And my first Premier League title after season one. The last match is against Liverpool. This game is at home. Uh, Chelsea line up with exactly the same team, pretty much. But this time, Gary Cahill comes in for Kurt Zuma. Because um, uh, Kurt Zuma wanted to rest him. And Gary Cahill has that added presence with John Terry and added strength at the back. Um, Liverpool have Mignolet in goal. Johnson, Sacco, Skirtle and Moreno at the back. Gerrard in centre of midfield. Alan Henderson and Lalana in the rest of midfield with Mario Balotelli partnered up front with Daniel Sturridge. This is yet another must-win game for Chelsea. For 20 minutes in, Diego Costa gets the shot away, but it's blocked and it's straight into the path of Edwin Hazard, who has a simple pass-type shot into the uh, into the back of the net. And Mignolet had no chance. He's still open a little bit late. Uh, maybe not, but it was just tied right, but Hazard's uh, shot was time for perfection. Sturridge gets receives the ball brilliantly and has a phenomenal chance to uh, to equalise for the ball ticket well, but didn't quite make what he wanted out of it. Lalana gets played in and uh, fires in Liverpool's equaliser after 50 minutes, and uh, that was a well taken goal. You can see here the defenders didn't know what to do. They just gave him the space, gave him the ball, and as per usual, we get punished. This uh, Mignolet makes a good save from a Diego Costa shot. And they managed to clear it for, uh, five minutes later from Liverpool's equaliser. Diego Costa over the top for Fabregas. Good shot. But Mignolet comes out, state, makes himself big to make the save and give Chelsea a corner with 25 minutes left to be played. But 15 minutes left, Hazard cuts inside, powers it into the bottom right hand corner, giving Mignolet yet another. Yet another uh, goal to think about, and he had no chance, basically, is what I'm trying to say. And uh, Hazard wins the game for Chelsea, really. And uh, that is how the game ended, uh, pretty much. Uh, Chelsea winning 2 1 at home to Liverpool uh, with two games left. Manchester United is the next match, which will be live in the FA Cup. So, I'd like to thank you very much. For watching this episode guys uh, like comment subscribe and um, I will see you in the next episode soon for the FA Cup final which I've just said 
it's going to be live.